Hey, this is Matt from Investiquant. Today is Friday, September 29, 2023. Today is the last trading day of the month. So we're going to take a look at a study based upon that day. Let me go ahead and get this set up. I'm using all four instruments. Our setup's based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, we are trading higher in the overnight session. So from the opening filters library, I'm going to click on gap up here. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the price patterns library, and I'm going to grab a price pattern that says yesterday closed below the prior month close. So that means we're gonna be trading or um, yesterday closed below last month's close as we come into the last trading day of the month, which I'm gonna grab from the calendar library here. Um, under the act of today section, I'm gonna grab last trading day of the month. And from the indicators library, I'm also going to grab, we are above a 200 day simple moving average. And from here, I'm gonna click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when you are gapping up on the last trading day of the month and the prior day closed below the prior month close, but above a 200-day simple moving average. Historically, we have 27 samples here in the S&P, 27 in the NASDAQ, 28 in the Dow, 26 in the Russell. Win rates on these coming in a bit mixed. Uh, S&P... 44% of these have closed above the opening print. For the NASDAQ, it's about 30%. For the Dow, 39%. Russell's up at 65%. If we take a look at the average moves, average move to the downside larger here in the S&P. That looks to be the case in all four instruments. So uh, NASDAQ, Dow, and Russell as well. So all four of these have larger average moves to the downside. Win rates are a bit mixed. We have Russell leading the way on the upside at 65%. NASDAQ, the weakest, at about 30%. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.